I'm back. I'm here with another video. <laughs> I'm Sarah and I'm an adventure travel and landscape photographer. Today I'm going to be talking about Sony's dedicated vlogging camera, the ZV-E1. But first, Jack and I decided to put it to the test and take it out on a beautiful hike among the Norwegian mountains. We had some really spectacular moments on this hike and I'm so happy with the outcome and I really hope that you guys enjoy the special moments with us. Hello. <laughs> so here we are in southern Norway now. Yeah. We're about to head out for a camp and hike. We're going to head up there uh, and hopefully camp right next to a glacier. Should take us a couple of hours, maybe two and a half hours to get up there. So hopefully the rain eases a little bit. I think I'm going to get wet. <laughs> we may get a little damp, but tomorrow it looks better and waking up by a glacier should be epic. Yeah, I can't say that, so um, I'm nicknaming it Flatbread Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that's flat, so it could be Flatbread Hut. Flatbread Hut. <laughs> flatbread Hut. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh. I thought the rain was stopping and then I looked to the side and it was just cloud. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I think it stopped raining enough, I can finally take my hood off. <laughs> that sweat to wet balance is definitely in the sweat favour. Gross. My legs feel fine, the jacket's quite dry. Inside here is a different story. <laughs> oh my god, I'm steaming. <laughs> You seen all the bloopers? Oh my god! Cute! <gasps> oh, they're really nice. Are they? Yeah. Oh, oh my god, so cute! <laughs> oh, the cloud coming in behind you. You should have some of these. I don't even like blueberries though. No, try them. Oh. Oh, I don't like blueberries. See, if I die, I'm gonna come back and haunt you. This better be. This is definitely a blueberry, right? <laughs> Whoa, that's sour. Okay, you might have got a bad one. Now I am going to die. <laughs> <laughs> they're good, right? Yeah. <laughs> they're really good. Like, they're absolutely nice. everywhere. Look at this one. How beautiful is that little plant? <laughs> There's the van. All the way down there. Hot red hot. Look at that view as well. Insane. Whoa. Stop that. I'm so excited by the height, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah. Stony in there. <laughs> if that's a toilet, that's going to be the best toilet in the world. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a view. What a crazy place. I'm tired, Dan, hungry. <laughs> Me too. We go find somewhere to, to sleep yep. and eat. Yes, please. That's very cool. Oh my god. Whoa. Oh my god. Not bad for a view. No. And then back down that way. Mm. <laughs> 
Wow. park <laughs> where do you want to park it well i thought that bit looks the flattest but then that actually looks not that looks like someone's camped there before it does is this just here I mean, that is a view out the door it's very true See this. And I'm, I'm like, you're such a boy, and then I'm like, give me one. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Like important things like getting the tent up before it gets too dark. I can't quite believe we're camping at a glacier. Like, <laughs> what on earth does that mean? Insane. This has to be one of the best camps we've done. Yeah. This is pretty epic. I mean, just look. <laughs> so, weather-wise, it's supposed to be a bit nicer in the morning. So we're hoping for nice shooting conditions tomorrow. But to be honest, just being here alone, I'm kind of, even if there's no photos and it's cloudy tomorrow, I'm pretty happy with how <laughs> This has been, this has just been crazy. But I am rather hungry, so that's the next port of call, I think. We're in the tent, making some food. It's gotten really dark now. Um. <laughs> oh, I feel a little bit better now having eaten. Well, I do. Your food wasn't particularly. No, that was horrendous. Great. Um, it did not mix. <laughs> <laughs> Some rice shouldn't be actually too hard to wake up for when it's like you know it's going to be that epic. So Hopefully, true. the conditions are nice. Just had a little check on Peak Finder actually, and the sun. We're not going to see the sun until like 10 past 7. That late? Yeah. You know that mountain across the side there, the one that we're sort of lined up with? Oh yeah. It comes up literally directly behind that. So we have to wait so what, for it to be above us. What time is sunrise at? Actually sunrise is about 4.30. Wait, three hours later? Oh my god, okay. I think so. <laughs> Feet are feeling pretty achy, body's achy, but I'm stoked to be up here. One of the best camps I think I've done. Definitely the best. Mm. Although you've done some pretty cool ones. It's definitely bit. the best I've done. Depends the sunrise could make could, well, well, could make it. If it's if the sunrise is yeah. Is, yeah. The conditions need to when the conditions are confirmed then we can then we can yeah. determine. Anyway, I might have another Oreo and then All right. go to bed. Give me the teeth destroying snacks. Thank you. Mm. Good oh. night. No no. no.
Perfect. That was an amazing camp. Yeah, I was uh, definitely up there to one of the best camps I think I've ever done. You said that last night and this morning, has it confirmed it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> this view, the inversion, yeah. glacier. I just can't believe that we got inversion and glacier. Yeah, <laughs> I'd definitely come back here. Lovely spot. Very nice. We're now waiting for our noodles to cook. We're gonna have a lovely noodle breakfast and probably strip camp and head back down head back down below the cloud i'm actually not looking forward to that <laughs> i want to stay here well hold on to these moments of epicness up here absolutely thanks for watching guys feel free to comment like and subscribe catch you in the next one I'm still not over that hike. <laughs> like, we were, we were next to a glacier. What? Like, I opened my tent and then boom, glacier. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just not over it. Those scenes were just too epic to comprehend and I'm so glad that we chose this hike to capture because now I can look back on all the moments that we had and enjoy it over and over again. <laughs> but I really hope you enjoyed the vlog and hopefully are now looking forward to me talking a little bit more about the ZV-E1. So I thought I would just show you the camera. Oh, but wait, look at this. It's so cute, I need to show you. <laughs> look at it, it's got a... It's got a little hat. It has hair. Look how cute that is. So that's its windshield. And honestly, even if I wasn't using that, I'd be, I'd be having it on anyway, because just look how cute it is. <laughs> so to finally get started, I've never been a specs or techie person, and I'm not even gonna pretend to know what I'm talking about and dive into all that. Um, everything you need to know about it can be found on the website. We all know that cameras nowadays are pretty much too good for us anyway. <laughs> um, this is 4K, 10 bits, got S-Log, it's full frame. Um, but that's not what I'm gonna focus on today. What I'm gonna focus on first is its size because I love lightweight gear. I love small, compact equipment. I think it's incredible to put so much technology into such a tiny body. And for me, this is such a priority with what I do. I just, I just hate carrying stuff. <laughs> I hate having so much weight on my back. So having everything so compact and small is perfect for me in every way. Um, the camera's tiny and okay, I mean, I know I'm tiny, so it probably just looks like a normal camera in my hands, but I promise you, it's minuscule. <laughs> so having shown you the camera, you're probably wondering where the heck is the viewfinder? Um, and I know that's really weird for a lot of people. I found the switch to be really simple because <laughs> I'm what I call myself a back screen bandit <laughs> with, 
which means I barely use the viewfinder anyway. You'll find me shooting a bit more like this um, and just using the screen directly rather than like this. So for me, the transition was pretty seamless considering I use the back screen a lot in my workflow anyway, but I can understand that it's a bit of a shift for most people. For me though, the concept of removing the viewfinder I think is pretty genius on this part. I think that it really reiterates that this is a vlogging camera and not your usual point and shoot camera because realistically you won't be using the viewfinder a lot with this anyway. So by removing it, not only are you reiterating its purpose, you're also saving weight and reducing size, which overall makes it such a powerful and compact camera. So you guys probably noticed in the video as well that the conditions that we were in were very wet and I wanted to highlight that this is dust and moisture resistant and it really handled the rain and the severe humidity very very well. There was no glitches or weird functions or anything going wrong, it just worked. That is incredibly important to me in my workflow because <laughs> we live in Scotland where the weather is constantly damp <laughs> and we travel to a lot of places such as the one we did where we're being tested by mother nature and so a camera that is able to handle those conditions is incredibly important for me as it enables me to be more creative in more diverse weather. Another one of the few quirks I wanted to mention is the five stop stabilization. Now I guess that counts as a spec but I'm gonna talk about that one because I thought it was really impressive. When we were shooting it was either by using a tripod to capture both of us in the scene or it was handheld by either myself or Jack and I was really impressed with the handheld footage. It wasn't jolty, it wasn't hectic, and I found it really created some smooth bits of video despite it being handheld. So this is another thing I love about the camera because I think everyone wants those silky, smooth, cinematic look, but not all of us have the huge amount of money or equipment to be able to achieve that. So I think this is a good compromise for your normal everyday user who wants something that's a bit more high quality, but doesn't hurt the budget. Finally, I'd like to mention that it uses the FE mount and Z battery, so everything was transferable between my previous equipment and this. But if you're already a Sony user and wanting to get into more professional looking vlogs, then this camera will be perfect because it means it should integrate easily into your current workflow. Overall, I think this is a phenomenal little camera. It honestly made me want to get more into vlogging. As I used it, I found it creative and fun and inspiring and it triggered so many ideas, which Fundamentally, this is what this is all about anyways. It's about wanting to create and this definitely did that for me. So that's it from me. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.